How many chicken nuggets? Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And in today's video, we're gonna lay out a challenge that I really want you to think about. But if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos. We do one subject at a time, one problem at a time. And if you've not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and the notification bell because we have videos coming out every single week. And while we're at it, why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. So, what am I wanting you to think about? So, in the U.S., there's a prominent fast food company that sells chicken nuggets in combinations of 6, 9, and 20. So what I want you to do is I want you to do some brute force um, calculations here. And I want you to find a way for you to write a program that determines how to get a certain number of chicken nuggets only using counts of 6, 9, and 20. So what the original goal was, where I got this from, was it was actually probably one of the first problems that I really solved. It's from the MIT course. Uh, I don't know if it's still um, out there. I went through and did a lot of those problems. So this was the real first problem that I solved that I was quite impressed with myself because I had no idea I was able to do anything like this. So what the goal was was for you to find what combination of 6, 9, and 20 would, would get you 48. And basically, then I took this to get 48, 49, 50, or even 999 chicken nuggets. What would the combinations be of 6, 9, and 20 to get 999? So that's what I want you to do. There's, I think there is a mathematical formula, but this is not the point of this exercise to derive the formula. It is a brute force calculation to allow a computer program to do what it does best and be able to try things in repetition. So you can begin to think about how to analyze a problem. So just a hint, it's the way that I first thought about it is if you think about a dial on a combination lock, you have zero through nine, zero through nine, and zero through nine. So that's the hint for now. And then next week what we'll do is I'll actually show you the original way I did it. And it was limited because I couldn't figure out. I went back and re-looked at this and I was like, ooh, this is limited. So I don't want to say too much. So it's incrementing and going through combinations. That's what I really want you to think about. And there's other tools out there, but I really want you to utilize the basic components of Python to iterate through combinations. So there we go. Real short video today because I did not want to just give you this answer. I wanted to challenge you all with this to give you a week to, I think we're behind a day because um, my recording didn't have audio. So I apologize about that for being late this week. But um, also, if you've not joined the Discord server down below, we have a lot of great questions and tremendous support going on over there. So make sure you jump over there if you're stuck on anything or if you need help or if you just want to join and help any of the new members. So that's that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the wonderful support. Thank you for all the subscribers. And I just can't say thank you enough. So thank you, guys. Thanks you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.